Hey, good evening. How is everyone? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? Well, teacher, day, my day was uh, really quiet and uh, I have uh, enough time to finish the first section, mm -hmm. the platform form and beginning the second one. Excellent. That's wonderful. Did Thank you have any did you have any problems or any questions or doubts? Uh, only in one point in this section one in the first novel check, but uh, I tried uh, several times and uh, I know the answer is correct, but uh, the platform doesn't work in, and that is no problem. In, okay, hang on. In the first, in the first knowledge check. Yes. Okay. Give me one moment. Let me share the screen. Let's make sure we have the correct answers. Okay. <laughs> knowledge check one point two. In this one. Uh, in the first uh, knowledge check. Mm, no. This is the. This ah. Is Yes, yeah. yes. When when says Leslie prefers to uh, prefers visiting uh, her parents on the weekends, that is the only answer uh, that I I can't uh, I I don't have correction, <laughs> but I don't know why. Mm, it is. It says yes. Uh, Leslie prefers visiting her parents Visit on the weekend. Parents on the weekend. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's because you put a space or something, but I'm gonna copy and paste it in the chat. That way, you can put it into your your platform to make sure that you have it written correctly. So just copy it and paste it from the chat to, if that's the only one you are missing. Mm -hmm. it's in the chat okay and yes. i saw in the i saw in the whatsapp many people said that yesterday the 1.8 that we checked yesterday they had a little bit of difficulty so here we have 1.8 one more time in case there is something that is wrong or you didn't get or anything like that okay i will try uh, but hmm, um in this moment, I I am in the platform, but my phone, but I will try at the computer. Okay, or just- uh -huh. Thank and you. You're welcome. That way you can copy and paste it and make sure you have the right one. Yes, okay. I make so that. There you go. And here are the answers for the others in case someone had a question or it wasn't clear. I saw, I think it was Oscar. Oscar put in the, the I think it was Oscar that put in the chat, 1.8 and you too, Patty. But um, let's take a look. Oh no, Marco, it was Marco. Um, let me see, is Marco here? Yes, he should be here. Okay. Perfect, Marco. Uh, which number was the one that you had difficulty with, Marco? What number? Uh, num number two, number three, and number four. Okay, right here. Here are the answers for number two, three, and four. Yesterday we checked, Marco, but you can see sometimes, as I told Patricia, sometimes it's, it, the mistake is um, a period, a capital letter, an extra space, something small. And sometimes it, it's not clear. And of course, there are sometimes that there are other answers that are correct, but not permitted in the platform because the platform is on, only allows one or two answers. So take a look, Marco, first. Make sure you have the correct ones. Here's number two, three, and four. Two, three, and four, yes. Let me check the number two. The trouble with having a younger sister is that she always wants to borrow my clothes. Yeah, I wrote that. I wrote that in, 
the trouble of having. No, uh, the trouble, the trouble with having, the trouble with having. All right, yeah. Trouble with. Mm -hmm. Trouble with having. Mm -hmm. A younger sister is that she always. A younger sister is. That she always. That she always. Wants to borrow. Wants to borrow. My clothes, period. Clothes. And then the period. Is that better, Marco? Uh, wait a minute, let me, let me check. One space, I, I think I have one space more. Okay, don't worry, Michael. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you and I will copy because if you wrote this and it's still wrong, it's it has to be a space. If there is, there is yeah. something in, in the space or something, mm, don't worry. I will put it right now into the chat and then you can copy and paste it from the chat. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And the others are okay, Marco. Uh, I'm really, I'm checking right now. Number three is the bad part of being away is I miss my family. The bad Correct. part of being away uh, is that is not correct. It's not correct. Is yes, that yes, yes. You can use that over here in the second part. Look in the second it is you have the option right there. You can use is that. Yes, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Now go ahead, Marco. Finish checking. Write it down. Here are the the answers. Did anybody else have any problems or issues with the platform or any of the homework? Uh, teacher, I I had a problem with the the last exercise, oh. but I don't know. I I <laughs> I write it and I no. is only one. The last Maybe, exercise here. Yeah. Five. Maybe it's the the point. Or I, I don't know. Maybe but, it's the space. I don't know, but. But the is the no is the the other ex exercise of the the one part I think. Is... Uh, tell me the number then. That way we have the correct one. Which which one? One point two, one point eight, one. Uh huh. No, maybe is is the space I think, but the system it doesn't to to change. And and always is um, show 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 me the wrong okay. is the wrong is the wrong, but I don't know why. No problem, Selena. But in which mm -hmm. section? I, in the section one, I think. Section one point what, Selena? Oh, but but is not the. This exercise is is the um, it's in the, the first uh, mm -hmm. when was the we used the the, the, the verb um okay. ing I think I, I think it's the one point two one point two check Check your platform. That's it. That's this. it. Okay. Which number? Uh -huh. Which number? The, the five. five. Number five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. That's the one we 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 have. Is mm -hmm. I think here or here. We're gonna no, put... here is volunteer. Volunteering. Ah, number six. As number a six. children. Oh, okay. that, that's a six. But okay. volunteering is a children's tale. Okay. Sometimes 
it mm -hmm. has to do with this with the apostrophe oh hmm. sometimes in the computer in your computer mm -hmm. it, looks like, it looks like an apostrophe but it's not an apostrophe it's oh. something else mm -hmm. oh oh mm -hmm. Oh, I understand. So sometimes this is the problem. It's, it, it's mm -hmm. only for, for that. But don't worry. In this mm -hmm. one, I will paste it into the chat. That yeah. way you have the correct form. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. I think then that means that everybody is correct for up to 1.8. Is Are there any other questions before we continue? Yeah, I don't have any question. Okay, good, Selena. No question, Selena, teacher. Copy and paste. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Selena, you. You're yeah. welcome. Okay, make sure you copy and paste to make sure that you enter it correctly. Okay? Great. So, right now, today we have two activities. Um, We have a focus on the activities of listening, and then we have our focus on our activities of speaking. Today, we want to try to focus in our fluency. So the idea is to improve our fluency, we need to have objectives. Our objective today is to have six sentences in 30 seconds. The way we're going to do is when we are with our partners, our partners are going to show us in the screen how many sentences we are saying. So what is a sentence? A sentence is not, I went to work that is a small sentence, but the idea is complete. I went to work this morning at the company. That is one. The idea is that we want to try to make sure that we are getting our fluency. So we want to see how we're doing. Okay. Now that we're going to do in a little bit, but that way you have the objective for today. Today is help our listening and practice more speaking fluency from this week. Today, the idea is we finish complete section one. Section one today, we finish, and then tomorrow, in tomorrow's class, we begin section two. Yes? <laughs> Perfect. So, okay. Good. Okay. So today, we're going to start with listening. If you remember yesterday, we learned compound about families, right? Super easy, in-laws, and great, right? That was the best part. In this moment, we're going to do a listening and we're going to try to identify what we understand. Summarize it in your own words. Here is Victor about a family reunion, okay? So in this case, Evelyn, can you please read the instructions? What are we going to do? Okay, instructions. And listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Choose the right answer. Perfect. So we're going to listen to Victor and the family, and we want to make sure that we are summarizing in our own words. What are they celebrating and what are they talking about at the family reunion? Family reunion. A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. Who was at the family reunion? What is he saying right now? Grandmother? Yeah. Okay, we got a grandmother. Uh huh. Who else? Could you repeat the question, please? Yes. Brother. Which people, who did he say was in the family reunion? 
he's talking about the people. He's describing the people. But who? Yeah. Who are they? His brother. Mm -hmm. With his with Cousin. Her wife and the new kids. And the new his baby. His uncle, cousin. Okay. Great mother. Okay. Okay. And what does he say about his cousin? What does he say about his grandmother? The grandmother was very happy because mm -hmm. um, she she saw a very very uh, much family. Okay. He Don't says that mm -hmm. he says that it was um, his grandmother's birthday number eighty eight. I think. Okay. Okay. Eighty eight. All right. Good. Also, he mentioned that there was a lot of people from California, even uh, from Mexico. All right. Very nice. This and... is the idea. Always, when you are listening, always try not just to listen and ah, whatever. No, try to identify, write down, uh, make sure you take notes. Remember, the idea is try to get as much information as you can. Let's listen again from the beginning and try to identify and take notes as much information as you can. Family reunion. A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. <laughs> so you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding. So the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. Oof, a lot of information, right? A yes. lot of people. Let's try. Number one, what were they celebrating? Celebrating Victor's grandmother 80th birthday. 80th? Yeah. 80th. Yes. 80 better. Okay, okay. How many people were there? 80. 80, I think. 80, 80. 80. 80. Yeah, 80. Okay, all right. Which places does he mention people came from? Oh, Texas, Texas Chicago, Florida, Chicago, California, Florida. and Mexico. And Mex Texas, Chicago, uh, Florida, Texas, Florida, Florida, California, even Mexico. Mexico. So, New Mexico or Mexico? Mexico. Even Mexico. 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 Okay, all right. Who is the first relative he mentions was at the reunion? His uncle's cousin. His uncle's cousin. His uncle's cousin. Okay. And who else besides the relatives were at the reunion? Friends of, Friends the, family. of the family. Friends of the family. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Let's take a look. Hang on a sec. Let's show. Excellent. Friends of the family. 
his uncle's cousins. We have the here, correct answer, all of them, 80 people and the 80th birthday. Super great, right? Yeah. Excellent. All right. Now we have a small reading exercise. With your partners, you're going to read. Is This is the last exercise, 1.12. We're going to take turns reading out loud. So you are not going to read silently. You are not going to be, ah, you read, I read. No, you're going to read out loud together. Okay. So as an example with your partner, one. Okay. One reads the first paragraph and then the other person reads the next paragraph. Okay. And then we discuss. What do you discuss? Okay. First, ah, partner, I don't know what is the word intrigued. Do you know what is intrigued? No, I don't know. Yes, I know. If you know, you explain to your partner. If you don't know, then you look it up. The best way to find it, all right? Then you search it. <laughs> Any questions? No. No, no questions. teacher. No. All right, good. Dennis, tell me, what are we going to do in this moment? So we are going we are going to read the article mm -hmm. and then we are going to discuss with with our partners uh, well actually we are going to read uh, for example the first the first part and then the other partner is going to read the other part and then we are going to discuss or maybe if there is something that me or my partner didn't un understand uh, we are going to explain to the other perfect Okay, great. Any questions then? Dennis is great explanation, right? Perfect. Let's do it and then answer the questions. Hey, Anna, what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been having a lot of problems to connect today because I will on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I actually have classes at school until 8. Okay. But today, um, we finished late. So I just finished. I came back to consensus from uh, Gavilla and I've been walking right. And I guess I don't have a lot of data. And it's just a I'm sorry about that. No problem. No problem. In this moment, I'm going to put you to another group and that way you can participate. We are doing 1.9, 1.9, but they can okay. share the screen and you can listen and read with them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anna.
All right. Thank you so much. Let's try together in this moment, we're going to work together as a class to make sure we understand, we have the correct pronunciation and we have all of the answers adequately. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different paragraphs. So I need seven volunteers. Who's going to be number one? Who has the first paragraph? Javier, okay, good. Javier is the first paragraph. Who's paragraph number two? Who's going to do number two? Okay, great. Thank you, number two. Who's number three? Me, teacher. Perfect. We have number one, number two, number three. Good. Here. On this side, who's number four? Um, I raised my hand. Excellent. Dana. I don't see if Thank you, you see it, but yep. Thank you, then. That's me. Number four. Great. Who's number five? I can go ahead. Thank you very much. Great. Five. Uh, number six. I'm the number six. Excellent. And the last <clears throat> one, who's going to read the last paragraph? I'll do the fifth side. Don't be scared. It's okay. We are all in the class together. It's okay to make read. mistakes. Me? Excellent. There you go. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Let's try it together. I am going to correct you if you have a mispronunciation at the end of your reading. I'm not going to correct you in the middle of your reading. If you are not sure, try to pronounce it the way you think, and I will help you at the end of the reading. Okay? All right. Let's go. Number one. Okay. Welcome to the California home of Ann Bells and her husband, Jim, Co Jim Silcock. And you'll see kids everywhere playing video games, doing homework, and getting, re getting ready for dinner. There are 30 boys in this close night. Household and Ann Bells is their mom. Bells has wanted to help children since she was a kid. I was intrigued by the movie Oliver in the 60s, a, mu a musical based on the Charles Dickens novel, Oliver Twist. I told my mom, that's what I want to do. I want to adopt orphans. Okay, thank you very much. Great job. Only one word that you didn't have correct, but amazing job. This word is a little tricky. It is right here. Okay, right here. Pronunciation is Close knit. Close, Close knit. knit. Close knit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Close, Close knit household. Mm -hmm. All right. Close. Good. Excellent. Everything else. Before we continue, are all the words and everything okay? Okay. Um, Anne's boys range in age from 3 to 25. All of them are challenged in some way. They, they each have special needs, physically, emotionally, or at school, says Bells. She doesn't focus on what her kids can do, only on what they can. They go to mainstream school, take karate, go skating, and the roller rink and he even act on television in an interesting twist 13 of her boys are going to be in a local theater uh, theater's production of oliver okay you know i have to say i really think your your pronunciation of the words are very good you said all of the words correctly and you pronounce all of the parts what you need to practice outside of the class is more fluency. Read out loud because you are focusing in pronouncing correctly and your fluency is a little bit slow. But excellent job. Just practice more reading fluently. That way you get used to it. One technique that works very well when you want to improve your fluency is do not read with your eyes. Many times, most Salvadorians and we learn to read with our eyes, right? We look at the paper and we read and our eyes go like this. 
the way to improve your reading fluency is read with your fingers. Your finger dictate how fast you read. Your eyes follow your finger. Know this. That way, if you don't know how to pronounce the word or if you're not sure in the word, it doesn't matter. You continue reading. And this makes you read faster because you are not stopping with your eyes. You are following your finger to read faster. Good job. But let's try to use that technique in this module to improve your reading fluency. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Great job. Thank you for volunteering. The next, who's number three? Me, teacher. Okay. Reading the three boys is no small task. Every day, a small army of shiker workers, nurses, and volunteer comes into in to help cook and clean, wash ferry loads and laundry a day, and take care of health needs. Okay, thank you very much. Um, the same, similar as your last partner, try to practice the same technique for our reading fluency. And here, let me help you with a few pronunciation of words. The first word right here, the pronunciation is raising. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Over here, this word is law, L like, like a lawyer, like what he studies, law, laundry. Laundry. Better. Very good. So the, the others are okay. Just practice a little bit more on that fluency, like the partner that I told her on how to do it. Apply the same technique. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Who's number? Who was number four? I forgot. Sorry. That's me. <laughs> Okay, it's thank me. you. Okay, to find out how much such a large family cost, we follow Jim Silcock to the grocery store. He spent $880 for food for one week. Every month, they spend $2,000 to run five minivans, $15,000 for the 14 paid helpers, and more than 10,000 on dental and medical expenses. There is also clothing insurance and mortgage payments. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good job. A little bit more fluency. Not so much, but you can practice a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more getting better. I okay. see. I see that you have, a, I'm listening to you and I, I heard that you have a little difficulty with your numbers. Not that you said them incorrectly, but that you forgot the numbers. And in the moment, I, how do you say that? So practice a little bit more your numbers. So that way, when you have them, they come fast. Okay. Okay. Just a quick question, teacher. Yeah. Did I pronounce the, the, almost the last word? Well, the one that is before the last. Yes. That is more mortgage. Yeah, I was mortgage. wondering if that the correct pronunciation. The correct way you said it was mortgage. 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 All yes. right. Good. Thank you. Before we continue, here we have a lot of maybe new words. Um, are there any words from here that you don't know or is not clear what they are? Anybody? It's okay. Not only Dennis. I Any I have a, a one word. Mm -hmm. Is uh, uh, what's the meaning mortgage? Excellent. And mm -hmm. I think I have a uh, other. Um, every month it is is that one okay only okay. only more just okay i so don't you... i don't have i don't have meaning no problem uh, i will help you with the meaning mortgage is the payment the money you pay the bank uh agricola Cuscatlan, that you pay the bank when you buy the house when you buy the house most people don't have the money, the cash to pay for the house. They go to the bank and they get a mortgage. This is the mortgage, the money you receive for a house. is specifically mm. for properties, mortgage. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other words? I have one. Insurance. Insurance. I don't know what that means. As a Suiza, uh, insurance ah, is like as yeah, a Suiza. I know, I know, I know, I know, I got it. Excellent. Great. Now, you, just like for everybody, I want you to see 
how I explain to my partner, how I explain to you, I don't use Spanish. I try to give you examples. I try to give you details or I explain the same with your partners. When you don't know, try to, if the other partner knows, try to use in English. Don't translate because then you become very dependent in Spanish and your English doesn't increase in the vocabulary. Okay, great. Let's go to the next one. Uh, who has the family? Me. Thank you, Nicole. Okay. The family receives $26,000 a month from the federal government and has some income from a family business. All the money is spent on the children. Having new clothes and fancy cars is an important to Bells. Nicole, very good fluency, very nice pronunciation. Only one word is a little mispronounced. Is this word right here? The correct pronunciation is clothes. No clothes. clothes, no clothes, clothes. Clothes. Excellent. Right. Thank you, Nicole. Very good. Any words? Anything anybody is not sure about? Okay. Good. Let's go for how. Mm -hmm. How do how do the kids feel? Feel? Says a uh, 70 years old Anthony. The family is there wherever I need something, something. Under all this, I don't know what the word, under all this chaos, or I don't know. I feel like uh, I'm love. Thank you very much, Celine. Very nice. Thank you for trying. And that's the best. Remember, the idea is not always is perfect, but every day you try to improve. Great job in volunteering and practicing. Okay. Celine, we need to practice your final sounds. The okay. final sounds is because you are confusing the ends of the word. Here, Celine, please repeat 17. 17. Good. The other word, the one that you said, you said 70 but not 70, ah, 17. Okay. okay, 17. Good. Please repeat whenever. Whenever. Thank you. Here, Celine, your question was? That's, chaos. I don't know. K K K -os. Now K -os. Now K -os. Chaos. Chaos. Excellent. Oh, oh, chaos. Oh, 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 no, no, os, no, os, K -a. K -os. chaos. Oh, okay. uh, chaos. Good. Chaos. Thank you. Chaos. Chaos. And okay. the last one, Celine, you said the word correctly, love, but the final sound you didn't pronounce. Remember, it's with a D. Loved. Loved. No, 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 no T. Loved. 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 D, d. Loved. Okay. Thank you, Celine. Thank you Loved. for practicing. Great job. Excellent. And who is the last person? It's me, teacher. You, Marco. Marco. Excellent. All right, Marco, go. Okay. okay. This was my dream. And everything, everything about what I'm doing was everything I wanted to happen in my life, says Ann Ambels. So absolutely no regrets. This is perfect. I couldn't ask for it to be, to be better, maybe a bigger house, you know? will be nice. Thank you, Marco. Good fluency. Very nice, Marco. Only one pronunciation. You didn't say the K for this word. So please repeat, Marco. Ask. Ask. Correct. Remember, the K is strong because if not, you are saying buttocks. You are saying my butt, my ass. No, no, no. Ask. Ask. Excellent. Very good. Ask. All right. Thank you, Marco. Right. Well, thank before you. we check thank the you, questions, thank, are there any words or anything that you forgot to ask anybody? Any of these vocabulary or any part from here? Teacher, only one one word. Close night. Close knit. What is Close the meaning, knit. please? Close knit. Close knit um, is very common for Salvadorian society. Close-knit is the family is like this, it's united. It is very 
this, that maybe you speak with your mom and with your dad, your sister, you are very close knit, united. Thank you. I, I, I Thank you, Patricia. Very good. Um, let me share one more time. I just wanted to make sure that we had it. Okay. Any other words or questions about any of this reading? Not question. Roller, I have one roller ring or ring. Excellent, Wendy. Roller <laughs> ring. Okay. Ring. Where in which one is it? What paragraph? And the second one. And the second, second part. Right yeah. here. Um, go skate yeah. at the roller rink. The the meaning is let me think where do we have? Oh, we don't have it in El Salvador. Um but if you go, do you know El Café Talón in Santa Tecla? Yes, yes, I know. Okay. In Santa Tecla, um, in front of the pools or near the pools before Burger King, there are roller skates. These are the roller skates. The roller skates traditionally are, were not used outside. They were used inside the building. And this building, the name was Roller Rink. Like for basketball, it was basketball court. For soccer, soccer field. But for roller skates, uh, yeah. it was Roller Rink. Okay. I got it. Thank you. You're welcome, of course. Anything else? Anybody? Yes, I will actually add to your explanation a little bit, perhaps. Yes, Rafa, go ahead. The roll, for Roller Rink, Mm -hmm. Now, is you can actually say roller ring or roller ring if it's a ring, if it is outside, like the one that we have here in El Salvador, mm -hmm. is roller ring if it is indoor. Correct, inside the building. That's the idea, exactly. Right? Yeah, great job. I love that you investigate and you are helping. Thank you. Partners. Thank you. All right, guys, now let's do our exercise. All right, let me select Nicole number one, Selena number two, and let's take a look at Carlos number three. All right, number one, Nicole. Please read the question and read the answer. All right. What reason does Ann Bells give for adopting so many children? The answer is after watching the musical Oliver. Okay, thank you very much. Number two, that was Selena. Mm -hmm. uh, what is special about the children that Bells and her husband adopt? Uh, or they special? They have. I think that they have a special needs. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. And um, Carlos was number three, right? Yes, yes. What are the total monthly expenses for this for this family? Uh, over twenty seven thousand amounts. Good. Okay. And how do we pronounce this symbol, Carlos? Yeah, uh, dollar. <laughs> Excellent. Now, how do we read the number? Over 20, $27,000 a month. Excellent. There you go. Very nice. Let's take a look. Those are all correct. Over $27,000 a month. They have special needs. And after watching the musical Oliver. Great job, guys. Excellent. That's We are working as a team. And we are correctly on task. Finishing lesson one today. We still have a few minutes. And as I said, the objective for the next activity is our speaking. So in the next activity for speaking, before we continue, anybody have any questions for section one? 1.1, 1.2, and any questions before we go on to the next part? Uh, yep, I do have a question, teacher. Yes, Dennis, please tell me. Actually, I haven't taken the time to investigate, but I was wondering because in the video, in the material, I found that there are some gerunds. Mm -hmm. Well, actually some verbs or words 
that are followed by a geron and other that are followed by inf infinite. Uh, but I was wondering uh, what kind of uh, page, website, or where can I check what other verbs, what other words are followed by a geron? I would like to have a list where are Excellent. all the words. Well, there is or, not a list for all the words, but in the chat, you do have a list for many words. So if you check the chat for the class, you will checking. find the link for the list, a list of which ones are used by infinitives and which ones are used by gerund as normal conversation. Of course, there are many more and you can investigate more, but these are the ones that we normally use day to day. The common bird. Okay. Yes, nice. these, are, these are usually the most common. Um, but because you like to study a lot the list, I'm going to include an additional resource for you if you have the time and would like to. Here is an additional list with extra, extra verbs if you want also. So the two are there. The first one is for everyone, common verbs. And the extra, the second list is if you want more, simply. Okay. Excellent teacher. Thank you so much. Of course, Dennis. Teacher, can you please send it to the WhatsApp group, please? Um, I can't because it's on. I'm on the laptop and on the computer. But if somebody is on their cell phone, it, can they copy and paste it in this moment? I and will do it right now. No worries. Oh, thank you. There, thank hey, you. you. See, we work as a team. That's why we are advanced group because we are working together. Let me see. I love this class. We all support each other. Nobody's, I know, only for me, only for me. There you go. Great. Um, besides Dennis's question, were there anything else before we continue to the final activity for tonight? Wendy? No, 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 no. No, I don't have any question. Thank you. Excellent. No, no, I just wanted to say your name because you seem a little, I don't want to be called. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, well, this next part is, uh, it's your selection. It has to do with your personality. Your personality, everybody is different. And what for Nicole is attractive, for Wendy, mm, maybe not so much. Maybe for Patricia is interesting, for Rafael, not so much. The link, the link that you need for the next activity is in the chat, is the last link. This link has many topics. You are going to select a topic that is interesting for you. And with your partner, you're going to ask your partner questions. It's not necessary to go in order, but you can ask different questions that are interesting for you. Okay. So click on the link. You are going to use this link to help you control your conversation, to help you expand and talk about specific topics with more vocabulary. Before we make our groups, does everybody have access to the link? is the last link in the chat group. I do have access. I do. Yes, we can go to our conversation class, the, the conversation section. Yes? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's do it.
George, Marco, Carlos, are you okay? Any issues? Maybe I couldn't enter to any group. No problem. Yeah. I will send you to another one. It's okay. Let me get you to another group. Then it happened the same to me, teacher. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay, just one sec, Carlos, and we'll try. Hey, Anna, tell me, what did you talk about with your partner? What did you decide?
Okay. Hello. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay. So tell me, what topic did you decide? What topic interested you? Or what did you say or learn from your partner? You said, hmm, that was interesting. I have a conversation with Evelyn and we were talking about food and eating. <laughs> that was topic. Is like, mm, you are hungry, hungry, okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe because I, I, I mentioned to Nelson that I am a foodie and I love eating a lot. <laughs> mm. I know that I shouldn't eat at night uh, too much food, but I don't know. I feel relaxed when I eat at night. I like to eat some snacks or uh, soda. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think that uh, we have a lot of uh, knowledge about food because it's something that we uh, we do every day. <laughs> it great. Anybody else and would like to share what what topics interest you or what did you decide to talk with your partner? In our group, we were talking about music actually local music. So we started just to remember some songs that were, uh, you know, very successful in the past. I don't know, teacher, if you remember uh, this group, Adrenalina, which, uh, which this song that is Maldita, that's a good song. No, I don't. No? No. That's a good one. You should hear that okay. song. Okay. We also talk about uh, Bolo y Solo. That's another one. And the <laughs> other one that you mentioned, I can't remember uh, your name. What, what was the other one that I told you that I will listen uh, just after the class? Uh, the well, one that you mentioned? Uh, it is El Bucero Basilón. Ah, El Bucero Basilón. So we were talking about a uh, Salvadorian music, mu musician. Okay. Well, great, guys. Thank you again for connecting. Thank you for making the effort to come to class after working very hard all day. I appreciate it. And I'm glad that you're improving your English. I hope to see you tomorrow. If you cannot connect, I understand it is Friday, but I will be here tomorrow to help you if you want to continue, okay? Good okay. night, everyone. Okay. Good night. Thank Good you, night. teacher. Good, Good night. night. Good night, Good night. everybody. Tomorrow. Good night. See you. See you. See you tomorrow. See you, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I hope. <laughs> <laughs>